Most of us spend a good amount of time at work. This makes the environment at work especially important to us. So, what's the difference between an okay place to work and an amazing place to work? The compensation, the benefits, the location. Well, those are certainly important. But for most of us, what distinguishes an okay work experience from a truly great one is the culture. It's the way we feel when we walk through the doors and greet our colleagues. It's the vibe, the energy, the spirit of our organization. Now consider the difference between an okay work environment and a terrible one. Imagine what it's like to work someplace where you feel you don't belong. Can we expect someone to do their best work if they feel threatened, unhappy, or unsafe? Would any of us want to be in an environment where we can't trust our colleagues and managers? Or where we feel ignored, misunderstood, and disrespected? No chance. Given the choice, most everyone would prefer a more respectful workplace. But what does that really mean? What is it that happens in great organizations that makes the experience of working there so uplifting, so supportive, so positive? For most of us, the answer comes down to how we're treated. We do our best work, we thrive and succeed when we feel respected and appreciated. And when we're free to be ourselves, when we're encouraged to apply our unique experiences, skills, and talents to the work we do. In this series, we'll explore some important components to a more respectful workplace. We'll see that we each have the ability and the responsibility to do our part to ensure our work environment is a place where we all feel valued and respected. What's in it for you? Well, a workplace which lacks respect will be less productive, more stressful, and a generally unpleasant place to spend your time. Doesn't sound very appealing, huh? On the other hand, a respectful workplace is collaborative, encouraging, and the type of environment where we're able to do our best work. Put another way, we're more likely to care about our organization and those we work with if we feel they care about us. So what are the keys to a more respectful workplace? Let's find out.